We already created our first component, really a full scale button component in our last section. This section is going to be dedicated to another component, but a much more complex one, the Jumbotron component. Through this section, you're also going to learn about how to make reusable logic and how to make reusable visuals and how to just make components better that are dynamic with children and properties. With that said, let's jump right into our first lecture. Our first lecture is about creating a utility for a non-visual element. And the real question is, where do you put non-visual logic that you need to reuse in more than one class? And that's exactly what we're going to answer in this lecture. All right, we created one component that is really going to be incredibly useful when we're creating applications that are leveraging Bootstrap. Now, I want to create another one, but this time around, we're going to be a lot faster. And the next one that I want to create, and let me just put everything in the window, is the Jumbotron. Now, even before I start building our Jumbotron, there is similarities between our Jumbotron and our button. For one, that name itself that we're placing, or that key, and then after that, our continuation with that fluid part. So, just like with when we have your without the uh, button where we automatically refill it, we really want to do the same for our Jumbotron as well. Let me just word wrap here so we could see things a little bit more clearly. So let's go ahead and start planning that out to make that feasible, possible, and an option. And really what we want to do is we want to extract our classify method from the button and turn it into something that is a utility that is accessible beyond. Now, if you have any experience with object-oriented programming previously, we don't want to use inheritance. If you don't know what inheritance is, then don't worry about it. But basically, inheritance is this. In this case, we have our button extending itself, extending its features from the React component itself. Now, that's the only thing you really want to have that is built in inheritance in React. All the rest, you really want to build it in a way where you're just composing things and you want to use composition. In the case of our button or in the case of the classify, we don't even need composition. Because this is really a utility function that is relevant really at any time that we need it to be relevant. It's non-visual. So to be able to use it, I'm just going to go ahead and create here a new file. And I'm going to call it utils. And it's living inside a bootstrap. So it's basically going to be a utility package for bootstrap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab our method from our button. So if, let me find our button. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop it right out. And place it inside of our utility making sure that because it's not a class, I'm going to go ahead and type function because it is needed. Now, beyond that, I also want to export, but I don't want to export it as the default as we've done so far, because I'm probably going to collect more methods that are going to be utility methods that are going to be used throughout Bootstrap. So I'm going to go ahead and instead of setting it as a default, I won't place any default at all. And that's all I had to do to export multiple things so I could have multiple exports. And I don't need that default. Beyond that, in my button itself, whenever I want to fetch a specific item such as classify, I could literally in my import statement, just import opening and closing a curly bracket and listing out with a comma all the items that I want to deconstruct or in this exportation. So in this case, I want to export classify, which currently is the only thing in there. So I'm deconstructing classify from the full utils package. Now, don't forget to put your adopt because this is not one of the built in modules. It's actually sitting in the same folder. So I want to make sure that I tell React to find it there or more accurately tell JavaScript, tell ES6, tell Babel, tell our, com our converter to know where to find the file. So let me go ahead and save that. And if I go back into my application, hopefully, even with this change, we should find out that nothing really changed unless something we've done here is wrong. So first of all, you could see this classify is not a function, which is true enough because it's not a this anymore. So I have to go ahead here and undo the, that this and save my file again. And if we go ahead and test it out, hopefully now everything is working just as it was working previously. In this lecture, we learned about creating utilities as external modules for our React components so they could share that logic. 